Dressed up as witches and goblins, children across the area are gearing up to celebrate Halloween today. Yeah, but for some children on the autism spectrum, from flashing lights to saying trick or treat, it can be a night that's very overwhelming. Autism advocates share the following advice to help the community at large. Now, some children may carry a blue pumpkin bucket or give you a Halloween trick or treat card cutout. This is an outward sign to let others know that they have a different ability. Advocates recommend allowing trick-or-treaters time to respond. There might be a delay in response time for an individual with autism or any developmental disability. So you want to give them time to respond. Um, maybe the parent is prompting them to say trick-or-treat, or maybe they're nonverbal and they're not able to say trick-or-treat. So you want to respect the communication Experts recommend parents talk with their children about what to expect, teach them rules about trick-or-treating, and even have a dress rehearsal with their costume. And we will have a guide on our website with other helpful tips to help create a more inclusive Halloween experience.